One of the future potential we need to pay attention to is actually NFT trade. It's also the variety and massive scale opportunity for the DEX player here in long term. Central exchange players have been taking a strong advantage to listing an altcoin investment here. But about NFT trade, no you know, critical winner yet in this ecosystem. Because in an NFT trade market is completely white space, unlike our coin market. But also they have a you know, huge potential out there, you know, NFT trade, such as a game virtual item, also any other kind of like our physical assets, you know, in long term too. So from this perspective, NFT trade business stuff is kind of a completely white space competition between central exchange player and a decentralized exchange player here. What I'm thinking here is NFT trade business stuff with a kind of critical judgment point about DEX player might overwhelm the central exchange player in this ecosystem. Okay? So today is an investment review for the OKX token code is OKB. Okay, so let's start. So as usual, this is my portfolio strategy. I only allocate my assets to the Bitcoin or the altcoin which is related to these six categories. And if you want to deepen your understanding about my portfolio strategy, please check out my other video about my portfolio strategy. Okay. And then today's you know, OKB is you know, categorized here. Number four, token to token DEX. Okay. And as usual, I'm gonna price six and a points. So starting from the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point. So the total score is 30 points, 3-0, okay? Let's start from number one, pain point analysis. And for the DEX project, we mainly have two pain points. And first one is this one. The user wants access to multiple altcoin investment with a single account. Let me explain why. Good analogy here is about internet industry because currently we have over hundreds of thousands of you know, unicorn projects in the worldwide you know, internet industry, right? Currently, internet industry stock is listed in each country's security exchange. So that is why users have to open the each country's security exchange accounts to trade. So that is why you know, users have to manage their multiple security accounts to trade the global internet stock. It's kind of very frustrating stuff, right? The blockchain technology is a pioneer technology next to the internet and the computer. From this perspective, it's quite natural for us to imagine that, you know, hundreds of thousands of the blockchain projects also you know, running around in this industry next five to 10 years. Then, you know, the blockchain industry, since we seriously focus on the decentralization of the, any type of infrastructure on a society. But when you look at the current you know, crypto asset trading stuff, each crypto asset exchange have their own, you know, token listing stuff. Most of the cases, we have to manage four or five accounts in a different crypto exchange, which is very frustrating, right? If we have just one single account and can access to the, you know, every single crypto assets, investment opportunity in this ecosystem, that'd be really, really frictionless. It's really helpful for us, right? So this is the first pain point. And the second one is this one. Central exchange is actually hackable. So the central exchange is hackable because they hold all the funds on their system. So this is a slide home. One of the major DEX projects in crypto space is the ZRX, ZRX protocol. It's a very you know, clear example here. Centralized exchange, exchange hold funds you know, on a single system. That is why it's easily motivated hacker to attack the system. Because in a centralized exchange, they have all the funds of the older user in their system. So once the hacker successfully attacked their system, they can get over millions or hundred millions of dollars with a single hacking. So that is why a lot of hackers all the time, you know, looking for the opportunity to attack this kind of central exchange system. But in a DEX system, it's completely opposite. Each user of their own wallets, they're going to try to network these each wallet for the, you know, building the liquidity and you know, buying and selling stuff. You know, in a DEX system, they don't have any kind of centralized, you know, buying and sending board stuff too. So 
for the hacker in this system, since you know this system is fully distributed enough, hacker have to attack each wallet to take the money from each user. But hacker doesn't know which user have a lot of money or not. But the burden for the hacker to attack in you know, one single wallet account here, it's completely the same level as attacking the centralized exchange aggregator account system. Okay? For hacker in a DEX system, they're gonna lose their strong motivations to attack these kind of you know fully distributed you know, wallet network system on the DEX system anymore. Okay? And then it's also related to OKX too, because the current OKX major business in a centralized exchange and the hacker stolen 3 million worth of the BTC from OKX in 2017. Just like this system way. Okay? So the major requirement for the ideal DEX system is user can be accessed to multiple altcoins with a single account and a massive liquidity. Second is also kind of minimum requirements is you know, non-custodian on the system. And based on this understanding, let's move to this topic, product analysis. And here is kind of brief overview of the OKX. So they found it in 2014. So relatively like old, you know, crypto exchange, central exchange in this space. And they're now headquartered in Malta, but they are operating the business in Hong Kong. Okay. So the most of the player here is actually from China. And then second, the February 2020, they're going to finally release their own blockchain, OK chain, and they started to build the DEX system. Okay. As usual, value cut proportion analysis. So OKX here, there are major competitor Binance here. Both are working on the centralized exchange, also the DEX system too. And also the Coinbase, major centralized exchange player here. And also the major DEX player, Uniswap and Xerox here. Okay. And the first things I want you to pay attention to this one. So currently, one of the major competitive advantage for the centralized exchange is these two items, altcoin trade and altcoin staking. Good example is Binance and Coinbase. They listed you know, multiple altcoin tokens on the exchange, and then they're gonna take the central approach to provide liquidity, but also they're gonna provide you know, some of the staking services for, such, as for, you know, such as EOS or Atom or Cosmos token too. So they're gonna take in care of like a both you know, short-term trader, also the long-term investor here on the ecosystem. And the compared with this player, OKX, you know, their altcoin trading capability and altcoin staking services, it's a little bit behind. You know, these are the two major players here, okay? And when you look at the you know, DEX player here, Uniswap and Xerox, still they're a little bit behind this area. But when you look at the DEX feature here, for example, like a decentralized liquidity pool and a governance DAO system, you know, the Uniswap Xerox protocol is much more advanced. And of course, you know, OKX building their own blockchain, base one here, but since you know, they're gonna provide a central exchange in a parallel way about the non-custodian system stuff, it's a, you know, way behind from DEX system here, okay? One of the future potential we need to pay attention to is actually NFT trade. It's also the variety and the massive scale opportunity for the DEX player here in long term. Central exchange player have been taking the strong advantage to listing an altcoin investment here, but about NFT trade, no you know, critical winner yet in this ecosystem. Because in an NFT trade market, it's completely white space, unlike our coin market. But also they have a you know, huge potential out there in you know, NFT trade, such as a game virtual item, also any other kind of like our physical assets, you know, in long term too. So from this perspective, NFT trade business stuff is kind of a completely white space competition between central exchange player and a decentralized exchange player here. What I'm thinking here is NFT trade business stuff will be the kind of critical judgment point about DEX player might overwhelm the central exchange player in this ecosystem, okay? And then number three, team analysis. These are the five key member in OKX and the CEO, Jay Howe, He's an ex-CEO of the unit chip technology and ex-BP of engineering at the A-Media Network. He got the master degree of the electrical engineering at the Georgia Institute of Technology. He's a very capable tech leader, okay? And Alicia, the chief SWAT officer, but there is no background information on our ring lane. Third guy, Andy, the head of the business developments, and he's also the ex-CEO of the Beijing Shangguan Ye Technology, kind of, you know, digital music, you know, provider on the internet. And also he got the master degree of the electrical engineering at the New York University. So he's a very capable guy. And then number four, 
Fu. He's a technical director and he's an ex-technical specialist at the Alibaba Group. And also number fifth guy, Jason, vice president of the business development at the OKX International. And he got the MBA at the New York University. It's kind of very, you know, capable team here, but the seemingly, you know, most of the players are pretty good at running the you know, tech companies, not the DEX project. And the OKX already have around 1,000 people in their organizations. Thinking about the future of the DEX ecosystem, DAO, decentralized autonomous organization, is a very critical element for their, for their sustainability. And from their perspective, such big organization itself it's a huge burden for them to transfer from centralized organization you know, operating model to the decentralized organization operating model. I can't see the big future about this kind of team structure at this moment. Since you know, DEX players such as you know, Uniswap and Zeros Protocol have much more smaller team, and they're gonna run in about that mechanism at this moment well. From this perspective, even they have you know, a lot of great expertise in this team about the DAO stuff, it's a completely different game, okay? And then number four, execution point analysis. As I mentioned, 2020 in the beginning, they're gonna release OKX chain, which is their you know, DEX project. But the key point is this one. So the traditional exchange, brothers DEX exchange in the training volume. And OKX here in a traditional exchange. Of course, they're kind of you know, leading central exchange player in the crypto space. They usually they're gonna rank in the top ten, you know, in a central exchange player and a train volume or, as always. But when you look at the DEX system here, OK chain is outranking. For example, Binance DEX here and the Bitfinex, you know, diversify here, but no OK chain here. Rather, Uniswap, Kyver, Zorex, those are the pretty major player here. Okay. I'm talking about the DEX investment opportunity. So from this perspective, I could not see the high potential about OKB token at this moment, okay? As we can see here that if the OKB, you know, their DEX project can be powerfully successful in this ecosystem to survive in long term, OKX itself have to survive in a different way. So they have to look at some alternative business for their long term sustainability, okay? And what I'm thinking right now here about you know, most of the central exchange is that this one, there's a two major business possibility for the central exchange in a DEX system. First one is this one, major liquidity provider for the DEX. Why? Because the DEX system, it's a kind of protocol layer technology. They all the time looking for the new wallets or new user base to provide liquidity in their DEX ecosystem stuff. From this perspective, you know, central exchange kind of a user or liquidity aggregator, you know, entire crypto ecosystem for the you know, trading or investment perspective, right? So they can join some of the DEX ecosystem, such as Uniswap or Zeros Protocol, as a liquidity provider. That's one of the possibility they can survive in the long term. And the second one is this one. I think that this is a higher possibility than the first one. Major staking provider for the BROS or blockchain interoperability. Actually, already the OKX or Binance is kind of major the validator for most of the you know, major BROS or blockchain interoperability software projects such as Tron or EOS, Ethereum or Cosmos Atom or Polkadot. They usually apply the DPoS system, dedicated proof of stake. So in a DPoS system, Retail investor, they're gonna join the governance of the each those kind of bros or blockchain interpreted software. That is why most of the central exchange, such as Binance and OKS, provide staking services for this, you know, DPoS solutions. They can keep their positions, and then they can, you know, contribute the distributed governance model in a bros and blockchain interpreted software, which is also quite helpful for this, you know, distributed ecosystem for its long-term sustainability. From this perspective, you know, OKB has a potential to be this type of the player here in long term. But, you know, compared with other major project player in the DEX system, you know, their business size will be much smaller. This is the things you should know, okay? And then number five, token economy analysis. And then this is the token economy design matrix which I made, and a DEX here. 
The DEX is, as I said, it's kind of protocol layer technology. So that is why the security economy and the governance is very critical. But at the same time, since DEX services itself is competing with, you know, central exchange and the central exchange provide, you know, B2C services from this, you know, perspective, they also have to take in care of reward economy and network effects about the B2C user acquisition model here. Okay. Here's kind of reference for you guys to understand about the network effects on a you know, DEX project. This is a reference from ZRX, ZRX protocol. And it's starting from actually this one. So small, mid-sized business, including World App Player, wants the assets of the massive liquidity to maintain their active user base here. Because the world doesn't have any exchange functions on the ecosystem. So they have primary motivation to join the DEX ecosystem, right? Then, you know, easier to build the secure P2P trading. This is a primary motivation for the you know, world player, such as, you know, such as Metamax or something. More relayer, which means like they're going to provide liquidity on this ecosystem is coming to the market. You know, more selection for the, you know, art coins or NFT stuff is coming to the market. So, you know, we can build the better customer experiences. So this is the first growth spiral for the, you know, DEX project, active user growth. And here's also, you know, second growth spiral here about the liquidity growth. And then most of the critical elements are actually this one, the staking services. So, you know, they want to grow up the, you know, market maker inside this ecosystem. And then those are the kind of key driver to, you know, increase their liquidity. Market maker all the time looking for more liquidity opportunity inside there. So that is why those user base here provide their RS token delegate to the market maker, you know, with the staking model. And then they're going to make money through the market maker trading and opportunity stuff. And then they're going to share some revenue to these users once they're going to make money as a market maker. Okay. So, you know, this is kind of also the primary motivation for, you know, these users to join, you know, this in staking services to help market maker. Then also this is going to help the liquidity growth inside there too. So they're going to provide more liquidity inside the combination of the selection of the altcoin here. So, you know, this ecosystem can provide more better customer experiences. So this is a kind of primarily, you know, growth mechanism about the DEX system. But when you look at the OKB DEX ecosystem at this moment, there is no functional these network effects model at this moment yet. Okay. And about the governance DAO, it's a very critical for the DEX system because Uniswap, Zurex, who are the major DEX project in this market, is building the very well designed DAO governance model at this moment. Okay, so OKB also have to catch up, you know, as soon as possible. But the issue is, as I mentioned, since you know OKX has around thousands of people's organization, it's pretty big. The things I have to say here, it's quite too slow for OKX to transform their operational model from centralized exchange model to the DEX model here. So it's huge bottom for them about DAO perspective, okay? And then number six, hype cycle analysis. And as usual, got no hype cycle analysis, blockchain business in 2019 version, and the DEX is categorized here, the blockchain-based ACH payment. This category is actually related to the bank money transferring system, you know, in a decentralized fashion, but it's kind of similar to the trading experiences because, you know, it's asset transaction between user A and user B. And at the same time, and as I mentioned, like DEX is also have to seriously think about the you know, DAO mechanism here. So this is the kind of second topic which is related to the DEX system. And both are still very early stage, you know, investment opportunity. They might experience the big bubble here and also, you know, huge potential about the real market ad adaptation here too. Okay. But thinking about, you know, OKB potential, of course they can build this kind of you know, DEX system here. But thinking about, you know, more scalability of the business to compete as a major DEX player and also, you know, competition in a DAO mechanism inside there too, I could not see the high potential on the OKB about this point, okay? So final item, comprehensive evaluations. And about the pain points, I set the 5.0 here because DEX is a very critical industry layer for this ecosystem. We have to build the very scalable DEX ecosystem, one or two staff, in this, you know, entire industry, you know, blockchain industry stuff in long term. Otherwise, you know, all the time, you know, our system is, you know, attacked by hacker. So we have to, you know, disincentivize those hackers to attack DEX system anymore. So from this perspective, and also we want the access to multiple crypto asset investment opportunity or trading opportunity with our single account. So from this perspective, pain point should be 5.0.
maximal level. And about a product, I said a 2.0 because their DEX project is just beginning. They're still heavily reliant on central exchange business stuff. So that is why I said 2.0 here. About team is 2.5 here because their expertise is great about running like tech company here or financial business stuff. But most of them are pretty good at running a big organization, not the DEX project here or DAO mechanism stuff. All right. So from this perspective, I said 2.5 there here. And execution power, I said 2.0 here, because when you look at you know, market growth of the major DEX projects such as Uniswap and Zeros Protocol, OKB just released their DEX project you know, beginning of this year, 2020. I think it's kind of too late to catch up the business with the major DEX player here. So I said 2.0 here. Okay? Token economy is kind of the same thing still. Since you know, they're going to release their DEX projects kind of too late, so that is why it's they are trying to build the network effects inside to grow the ecosystem. But also, I can see the high potential about the DAO mechanism inside on OKB token because they have pretty big organizations, you know, OKX, around 1,000 people organizations. So from this perspective, I can see the huge potential of the token economy at this moment. And hype cycle, the reason I said the 2.0 here, kind of same things. Even they're going to build some kind of a DEX project, you know, with the blockchain. I can see the big potential of the DAO mechanism inside or, you know, massive liquidity ecosystem inside too. So I said 2.0 here. So the total score is 15.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is 25 points. So from this perspective, I can't recommend investment in OKB at this moment. Okay. All right, so that is all this time. I also make a lot of stuff in this video, crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.